In today's video, I'm going to show you one of the best coverages in Madden 23. This, in my opinion, is going to be the best coverage defense in Madden 23, at least day one for how the game plays. And it comes to us out of really any defense. You can do this out of anything. I personally prefer a nickel normal or a big nickel style of defense. Um, you could also do this out of dollar, but I do like the nickel normal for this. And um, the play that we're gonna be going over today is Tampa 2, but there is a little bit of a tweak to it that I'm gonna show you uh, in the beginning of this video. But before I do, I do wanna let you know that if you wanna get our entire Madden 22 library of eBooks, you just need to join our Patreon. For just $10, you get access to all of our eBooks. We got over 20, I think we got over 30 eBooks released in Madden 22. And a lot of those are gonna carry over into Madden 23. We'll also have a ton of stuff for Madden 23. So it's a great time to sign up for the Patreon right now. The link is in the description below. And this is a really good defense, but uh, here's what we're gonna do. This nickel normal is in the ebook. You get the full ebook in the Patreon uh, as well. But what you wanna do here is if you take a look at the bottom um, of the defensive play call screen, you're gonna see where I can click random nickel. I can click coach adjustments, substitution, random play, but I can also select packages. And what this means is by moving my right stick, I can put different packages on the field. And the package we wanna put is FS1 inside. What FS1 inside does is it puts a safety at the cornerback position. Now, this will change some of your pass rushers. So you wanna make sure to go back through and make sure that you have your best pass rushers subbed in. I think that's a really underrated tip. And then also make sure you have your best cover guys wherever you want them. So I'm just gonna go through and do that real quick. And as you can see, this is what I have. But what FS1 inside allows us to do, especially with a too high defense, which is what I wanna play in Madden 23, is it allows us to improve our Tampa 2 dramatically against plays like verts, against plays like skinny posts, and even against like flooding concepts. So what we're gonna do with this is, um, I like to come out and cover two. Uh, you can come out and cover two sinker Tampa 2, either one, it's fine. And then um, we'll show you how to set this up. Now we wanna do all of these things before we shade our coverage down. What we wanna do is we wanna pinch our defense. You're gonna see this is gonna create our core alignment. We can send pressure from this. We can play max coverage from this. It's a great little alignment. Um, it's, it's a really good defensive alignment for you to start off with. Then what we wanna do is kinda of go crazy with our adjustments. So these deep halves, and I'll just show you kind of the issue and then we'll talk about the solution. So this deep half on the right side, if they run a play like verticals, this, if they have enough time, this wheel route will kind of clear this cloud and will absolutely be a dot over the top, okay? Sometimes even a one play touchdown, depending on who you're playing. Another thing that's really good um, that you might've seen, like this is something that, you know, Skimbo has really made famous this year, at least in my at least in my opinion. It's been a great play for years in Madden, but this year it's really good, especially against cover two and cover three. That's the bunch trail concept, which is basically the skinny post on the left side. You'll see this skinny post just does a really good job of killing the cover two defense. It still is really good at beating this in Madden 23 as well. So we need to kind of solve two key problems um, with our coverage. And the best way that we could do this is by using that FS1 inside package, we now have three safeties on the field. We have a safety here, a safety here, and a safety here. When we have that, it puts these, allows us to make big nickel over G type adjustments where we could put these two safeties in outside thirds, and then we could drop one of these guys into the deep middle thirds. So what we wanna do is we just wanna quickly put both safeties in outside thirds to their corresponding side. So I put this guy in an outside third to the left. I put this guy in an outside third to the right. The left joystick, typically handles the left side and the right joystick typically handles the right side. So I can just easily, you know, kind of know that going into it. Then again, you want to do all of these adjustments before we shade underneath. Um, we're going to then go ahead and sh uh, drop. Um, we're going to drop our defensive uh, middle linebacker into a deep middle third. And then really, really important. We're going to drop our defensive end on the left side of the screen into a vert hook and we're going to drop our defensive end on the right side of the screen into a bluff blitz. And then really important, once you've done all of those things, then you wanna shade outside and underneath. And what we'll see with this, I also like to re-cloud flat this outside corner on the right side. What we'll see with this defense is these vert hooks will do really good against shallow cross type of routes. And basically what we need to use her 
is any crossing route deep flood from the wide side to the left side. So as you can see, we get great sheds. And then as you can see, everything is absolutely blanketed underneath. Let me jump into instant replay and kind of break this coverage down for you. And I'm gonna give you an alternate setup as well that could be really good for people that like to flood the solo side with different types of routes. But what you'll see here is this vert hook and this three wreck really can blanket this, this route. We also have the wheel route defended and then that vert hook's gonna come down and play that. You can throw this like in that little tight window there. But another thing that I want you to notice is this wheel route that was killing us in cover two, it doesn't beat this because this outside third is there to defend that. And then in Madden 23, this dude right here is one of the best zones in the game. He'll guard every every post. He'll guard stuff over the middle. It's really good coverage. And then last but not least, this backside of here, we've got a hard flat for any flats. And then we've got a crosser that we're gonna manually guard, user guard over the top of the defense. Now, let me jump into a couple of other things with this. So the other alternate setup that I like to use is a little simpler in terms of adjustments. But what we're gonna do here is we're just going to hard flat. We're not gonna do any shading. We're just going to bluff blitz on the right side and then we're gonna hard flat that defensive end. We always wanna make sure our user's blitzing. That's what's going to allow us to get sheds by blitzing our user and having one of our defensive linemen be a bluff blitz, which is where this three red hook comes from. We bluff blitzed him. This is a great way to get great sheds. So what you can see with this now is let's say that they're running, um, let's say that they're running kind of the flood play, if you will, something like this. This is a great defense for this because we have a double flat over here on the left and then we can kind of lurk the middle and as you can see that forces them to have to check it down underneath. It's one of the best defenses in the game right now and the beauty of this is we could do all of this and then at the right time we can send heavy pressure just by simply blitzing our um just by simply blitzing our uh our players here, our, our linebacker. So you see here, I'm gonna blitz my linebacker. I don't know why my play art's not showing it. Um, but as you can see, there's my blitz. So what I can do off of this is I have that vert hook shaded down. So it's gonna play really good underneath coverage. And now we're just basically banking on the fact that they're not gonna call verticals because they've been calling it all game. So maybe they go to something like this and all I have to do um, as a user is just jump over here and force them to have to try to fit into a tight window over the scene. Thanks for watching the video. This is going to be one of the best defenses in Madden 23. Um, you can do this out of nickel normal. You can do this out of a lot of different defenses. I think nickel normal is actually one of the better ones, mainly because of the pressure and the match coverage and the man concepts that you can pair with this. Nickel normal is really good, especially if you want to have two high safeties to be able to always roll your coverages into different types of things. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to learn more about this defense, make sure that you join our Patreon. The link is down in the description. It gets you access to all of our ebooks. Thanks for watching. And if you want to sign up for it, head down to the description and click the link down below.